mostly the reason why I'm making this is to earn some extra credit for school. But I'm also making this just to get some extra views because, you know, Halloween's coming up. So you're probably like prancing around in a field chasing a butterfly. And then you get a notification like, Shooty made a top 5 video. Go watch it. Ah, screw Shooty. I'm unsubscribing. I'm gonna go watch TSK 7 Anyway, top 5 days I'll never forget. So this one time, me and my mom were coming back from the circus, and when we got home, the most unexpected thing happened. Not only was I startled by this music, I also got piled head to toe by it. Eventually, I calmed down and went downstairs and spent the rest of the day actually having fun with the guests. So it wasn't such a bummer. I wrote an entire essay about this in fourth grade, which is a story about how I gave myself a haircut. I think I was probably seven or eight at the time, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember the story. So then I got out the only stencil I actually thought I needed, which was a pair of paper scissors, and got to work. Your hair. Red alert, red alert, it's mom. Or maybe she's just here to compliment me. Maybe she's gonna tell me how great my hair looks. Or maybe. Nope. This story happened a while ago. It was Independence Day of 2011. <laughs> and no, we were not attacked by some freaking aliens. Down. So, as I was just walking around the front yard a little bit just because I wanted to, my grandpa called me inside. Get inside. Oh, okay. Next thing I knew, I was in the hospital getting fluid sucked out of my blister. I mean, yeah, it was supposed to hurt, but what felt like this, to me, felt more like... Are you tired of hearing this painful and negative information? Well, you're in luck because the next two stories and the final ones are all 100% negative free. Are you excited? Well, I gotta go because I'm getting chased by these stupid ducks. You better get ready because this story is a blast. This story is about when I turned 12. So me, me sister, me mom, and me dad decided to go to Noah's Bagels for breakfast. So then we fueled up on some bagels and went home. So as we were driving up to the spot where my dad wanted to bring me, turns out he was taking me to the IMAX Studio of Virtual Reality. The IMAX studio was really fun, especially since I've never tried virtual reality before. And then it took us a while to get home because we were stuck in a little bit of traffic around 4, but we eventually made it. So I got home and my friends gave me a birthday surprise shout, and then we all just went out into the pool and started a raging war. And then came the light of the party, the piñata! With guns, of course. As my parents left for my sister's parent-teacher conferences at school, they dropped us off at Kids World. I thought it was just gonna be a normal evening, I'm gonna spend my $20 on food, and it's gonna be boring. And then I run into someone I completely don't expect. Raymond? Just in case you don't know who Raymond is, Raymond was my little buddy back in fourth grade. Dude, what is wrong with you? Alright, to make a long story short, after laser tag, and after the time I met Raymond's awesome friends, we bought food. I was in charge of the pizza, and when we started eating, I just felt that I was having the time of my freaking life. 